Good evening, Jose Wilfredo. Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. So far, it's a good teacher. That's cool. That's cool. So, how was your day? Oh, it was a nice day, teacher, because uh, at the show, I had a short day. So, I finished the work like two, no, like 3 p.m. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. That's early. Yeah, so early for me. To be honest, really good. That's nice, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So then I have to, I have to wait until the class began with doing anything. Well, you have the chance to relax. That's important. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I had a time. I mean, to take some time for yourself is always good. What? To have a chance to relax a little bit for yourself is ah. always good. Yeah, that's right. I had a little time to relax, to be relaxing. So it was really nice. Because so to also I rest tomorrow. Really? What's the plan? Is there something for tomorrow? Um, not yet, but I guess that we need to, I have to study, but I, maybe I could study just in the morning. Then I don't know if I will go to the beach or do something with my family. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, spending time with, uh, with the family is always nice and very important. Yeah, that's right. Because we are waiting uh, uh, the complete week or the whole week to the weekend. So we have to do something special. You're right. Yeah, I mean, you know, little things are the ones that are really meaningful and spending time with the family, it's always important. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Every couple of minutes with them. So it's really nice. Great, great. So, Fredo, yeah. welcome. Always a Thank pleasure you, to have you here in class. Thanks to Thank you. you Ada, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Uh, hi, teacher. A uh, normal day. Uh, a lot of Man, work. your normal days are heavy days. Yes, teacher. Uh, in Look, the last I was... night. I was checking that in the platform, you did a couple of exercises yes. in section one, right? Yes, teacher, I could not work on the platform. Okay, I will switch into Spanish just a second. Este, veo que usted me trabajó en la plataforma, la sección uno anoche, un poquito, o ayer fue. No, teacher, para nada, porque regresé casi hoy de madrugada. Entonces, ¿Cuándo fue que me trabajó la sección uno? La sección 1 la trabajé ayer por la mañana. Ok, llegó hasta 80 la, puntos, ¿verdad? Ajá, supuestamente. Vaya, ya no me le borró los resultados porque aquí los tengo. Ajá, pero ayer estuve hablando con, con el joven Bonilla y ¿Sí? lo, que, lo que pasó fue que me creó un perfil en el correo de mi hija, pero ¿Cómo? no he podido todavía accesar. Voy a tratar de hacerlo después de la clase, a ver si... Si puedo trabajar todo lo demás. Me informa temprano por la mañana para ver que, cómo salimos. Oye, para poderle ayudar. Bueno, well, let's go back to English. This is English class. Ada, your microphone. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Please, let me know early in the morning. So a heavy day today, Ada. Uh, more or less, teacher. It's uh, three surges, 
And then, surgeries, surgeries. Then, Ahí está el problema de... Me voy a conectar en el cell, teacher. No problem, no problem. Okay, teacher. Sorry. No problem at all. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Francisco, good evening. Hello, Francisco, you're around? Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, Marcos, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Fine. Good evening. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. I'm just fine, just fine. Yeah. Yesterday was a little heavy to me because I disconnect or I leave my job like 7 or 7 30 or 8 p.m. I was in the meeting with my boss. Uh, since the since 4 p.m. till 7, 30 or 8, I don't, I don't remember who's saving. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. seven these days. Yeah, yeah. This, this seven, oh uh, almost three hours or four hours in, in the meeting with my boss. Uh, Ooh. We were checking uh, a little problems with the uh, system, and and finally we found found out what 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 the problem what was. was wrong. Yeah, yeah, and, but it it took us a lot of time, and yeah, at least this day, this this day, and and I don't have so much. To do, I, I have to do some some things, but not not at that with under that pressure, you know, because um reviewing some issues about the system with my boss is different than and uh, doing just alone. So I feel relaxed this day. And for tomorrow, um, in my schedule. Uh, I have to go once again to to do um, um, to another dental treatment uh, in two places. So I was uh, I will have a busy morning tomorrow, and in the afternoon I don't know. Perhaps I I have so much time to, since I don't. Go to to the park. I think I, I will go by my own, <laughs> just alone to be. I hope uh, it will not be it will not rain me. And Let's so, hope so because it's been raining a lot. Yeah, yeah, all all the all these days. But tomorrow that I want to to go out and yeah, I have to go in the motorcycle, so it's not. Quite good to me that there is rain. <laughs> I hope it will not rain. So that's that's all, teacher. It's a relaxed day for me. Give me just a second. Well, thank you very much for participating and thanks for making the effort. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hey guys, by the way, today you received an email, right? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Remember that that's going to be done on Monday. Okay. 
Okay, just let me send a message here. Let's see who else is around. Okay. Ana Claudia, hello. Hi, teacher, good evening. How are you? How's everything? I'm doing very well, teacher. Today was a busy day. I didn't work, but I took the time to complete some personal errands, um, like uh, my annual uh, exams and blood tests, stuff, all this stuff. And so I'm, uh, I started today and I will complete, uh, I was just missing one, so I will complete that tomorrow. And that is my, my annual checking. <laughs> Really? Everything looks to be good. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. I like it when you are that positive. <laughs> Thank you. So, so far, so good. Okay, that's nice. And what's the plan for Sunday? A uh, Sunday, well, I'm still uh, missing to wash my clothes <laughs> because these days um, wear rainy days. And so it's like I wasn't able to do that. So I'm going to, to complete and make that task on Sunday. I hope so. And then Monday start working again and so on, so on. I start looking for the new revenue for this month. Uh, well, trying to do the best. That's nice. Good mm -hmm. attitude. <laughs> Thank you. Teacher, uh, and if we finish uh, classes on Monday, do you know when is the when is the day? The beginning. Uh huh. For, for the, what? For the yes, next for one? the beginning of the next course. To be honest, you know that information before me. Oh really? Yeah, oh. you do. Oh, okay. So let's wait. The thing is that uh, remember that sometimes, sometimes I have been able to continue with you guys mm -hmm. because of the of the teachers. Mm -hmm. There are enough teachers, but sometimes depending on on the the, the quantity of teachers, uh, they move us. Uh, like right now, they are well, they are hiring teachers because oh. uh, we are opening more groups. Oh, okay. And we will see if, if I am going to continue with you. The problem with these levels are that uh, is the level of English, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the situation is this, they're pretty good teachers, but uh, in order to be able to teach these levels, mm -hmm. uh, the certification, our certification varies. Mm -hmm. Because I have some, I have some co-workers who are certified by Instaform, but they can just teach uh, basics exactly. or basics and intermediates. Mm -hmm. And the ones, the ones of us who are able to teach basic, intermediate, and advanced, you are a few. Of that, yeah, mm -hmm. it's because of the, the the evaluations and the. I know. No, and all, also, uh, also the the not only the evaluation teacher is the way how you how you handle the the class because. I'm so surprised, and I guess sometimes maybe I told you that all the questions when you make us to work in these uh, dynamics, they are focused on the topic, even though we maybe we don't, uh, at the beginning, we don't realize it, but yes, it's including the topic we are about to talk to in the manual. And that make it, that make it not being like bored. <laughs> It's like yeah. uh, dynamic. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and that's that's the idea. But as I tell you, that's the situation. That's why as they are like moving and trying to fill in the spaces, that's why um, they, they 
let us know as teachers uh, after the groups are formed which course we are going to teach. Oh, and, and, and like in my case, it's not a problem because I have taught all the levels. So mm -hmm. I mean, they can tell me on short notice, eh, like two days from now, they can tell me, okay, in two days, you're going to start with a basic, with an advanced. Mm -hmm. And that's cool. I've been for a long while with this. Mm. And depending on, on the need uh, of the personal. So it's not me. I never know which group <laughs> Let I me mean, ask you. It, right now, is it running a group with advanced six? Because advanced is six, uh, six levels too, right? No, right now we got us an advanced two or three, I guess. Oh, we are just almost yeah because the one who finished it a few months ago was a uh, thoughtful preparation okay. we got a, we got some friends i mean i work with thoughtful preparation but not in this in this uh methodology not mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. i have taught thoughtful preparation but face to face and personalized oh i just can imagine and to work it like this is something different. I mean, there are a couple of co-workers who space specialize on that. Mm -hmm. And they're quite good. I mean, they're really mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. But uh, also those courses, they don't have that big of a demand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, me. Uh, I remember there was one year that I was only working on basics. Really? Yeah, just basics. Oh. And that's something different because basics, believe me, are the hardest. Yeah, but it, yet I, I remember the first course I joined it with uh, English Corporativo. I remember I was like mm, kind of disappointed because I didn't feel the one in charge of the, the group. I don't know. But then after that, no, come on. I been having uh, excellent teachers professors like you well uh you just yeah, imagine mm -hmm. the basics are pretty hard because uh as you know uh, in basics you have to set the base for exactly. people of learning and besides that you have to engage them to make some people really like and enjoy oh, the class. Mm -hmm. and that's quite hard sometimes yeah. so I stayed like for one year just working with basics and it was good. It was a good experience, but heavy, quite heavy. Mm -hmm. No, but it's excellent. For me, it was the, the first time I haven't uh, worked even in my job, uh, working in a SWAT. For me, it was, wow, it was amazing. I remember that, that was in, a, in the, I don't remember if it was at the end of the basic. The FODA in Spanish, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, for me it was, what is this? <laughs> I learned a lot. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, as I told you, you said the basis. Mm -hmm. And after that, I mean, there's a couple of intermediate that you feel like they're slow mm -hmm. because you're just getting like grammar, grammar, a little bit of vocabulary. But then on the, on the upper intermediate, now we are applying all Mm -hmm. all that vocabulary now we are right. putting that into context now we are making a lot of conversation mm -hmm. and now the the level in which you guys are allows me to make a lot of conversation practice mm -hmm. and that's when you feel that you are really advancing because you are saying hey yeah we are speaking all every day we are speaking mm -hmm. english we are using it yeah. we are practicing it. which is wonderful we are we are having conversation but it's because all those teachers that you had in basics mm -hmm. gave you a good base. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. This is, as you know, this is a process. Mm -hmm. And the hardest are the basic four, five, six. Those are a little mm -hmm. bit hard because you get a lot of info, but you don't feel like you are applying everything. Mm -hmm. Then you start like putting it into context. Advanced are not difficult. They are interesting. <laughs> when you say that word interest mm -mm. Has a no, lot of it's, <laughs> no the thing is this that in the advanced levels you're going to be doing what we are doing 
to be honest with you, I have uh, I have gone a little bit up ahead mm. of the levels. You won't feel advanced that heavy because you are making presentations, you have been making speech, right? Mm -hmm. You have been like analyzing info, preparing info in order to yeah. expose. Oh yes, that's, that, that was that's a, what, a good experience. That's what you're going to be doing in advance. I mean, yeah. it's not going to be like a big of a surprise for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, in advance, you know, the, 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 the activities in the manual are shorter mm -hmm. because mostly it's you applying it, you mm -hmm. putting it into context. Uh, it's a very good experience. Now, what you will have to fight against is not boredom, is um, tiredness. Mm. because of course you've been at this for a long while mm -hmm. and you know uh, last level i remember we had three classmates they drop out mm -hmm. the previous one two classmates dropped out mm -hmm. they were like no we are going to make a pause we are a little bit tired it's yeah. a lot of work that happens in the yeah in the it's not easy intermediate... to daily hours a day yeah yeah but in upper intermediate that happens people mm -hmm. drops out a lot because mm -hmm. of the some people are tired some people are like man it's a lot and some people feel like no i can communicate already mm -hmm. i don't want no more i don't need no more no and sometimes people say no i i can learn from here on my own no, and no. yeah you can but it's harder quite okay. harder yeah. because if you are not in a in the in this context, you don't practice. Exactly. I was about to mention that. Uh, one thing that I love the most is that being uh, in this context, as you mentioned before, I feel updated because sometimes there are new things now with all these movements, vocabulary, new words that they are needed on a dictionary. So I feel updated, <laughs> like I'm, I'm updated every day. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's it's a very good experience and exactly. Let's hope everybody can can make the best out of it because I mean <laughs> you are in a level where it's hard, it's hard but uh, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. That's right. Yeah, and to be honest, I'm checking the I'm checking the list and yeah, we're gonna make it on minutes. Yes, we are fine. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Is that something that worries me? The minutes. Hmm. Yeah, then the teacher. Yeah, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get it right now. Just let me send a reminder to someone that I need here right now. Okay. Thank you, Anna Claudia. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, attendance. Let me get the attendance. Just a few of you. Let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. I saw you open your microphone, but I don't hear you, Alejandro. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. 
Jair y Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Maña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. En Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Thank you, Suleima. Okay, wow. I'm missing a bunch of people. Let's see. Let's see who else is around. Osmin, hello, how are you? Doing great. Thank you for asking, teacher. What about That's you? everything. Uh, Me? Everything just fine, just fine. Ah, nice. Yep, back here, so everything is cool, the same routine. So I think that I'm, take, I'm taking my time because it's Friday. So tomorrow I will rest a lot in order to compensate those uh, hours that that I'm feeling like stress, but I don't have any other complaint about it. Everything is cool. And what's the plan for the weekend? Uh, let's see, tomorrow, like, I think that I will go to the Casa Juventud in order to practice for the project so that I will do so that I will go, that is to Mexico. Oh uh, yeah, you told me the other day. Yeah, that's right. I will I will keep practicing. And in the afternoon, I think that I will rest a lot. I probably will listen <laughs> to music <laughs> a lot in the in the afternoon. But I, I don't know. So I don't have any other plan in the afternoon. But on Sunday. I will do the same in the morning and then in the afternoon I will go to the short in order to play because I am the core on the on the choir 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 like that choir okay you're not going to go to the church you're going to go to church oh okay I going to let me explain to you let me explain the situation is this we don't know which church you attend so you say, I'm going to church in general. If I knew specifically which one you attend, you can tell me, oh, I'm going to go to the church. In that case, you apply the, the article that because you are being specific about which one. We know which one you attend, okay? Okay, nice, got it. Is I going to go to church? Oh, that's nice. So you play in the, in the choir. What do you play? Drum. The drums? The drums? Mm -hmm. Never. I could never understand how to do that. Man, it's it's a different dynamic. Yeah. It's, it's tricky. Yeah. yeah it is. <laughs> so actually, before that uh, instrument, I was with the congas. So oh, I, never, I uh, love those ones. The, yeah, it's really nice. I feel comfortable. Because if they provide me a hey, decision about what is the best instruments that you can, uh, I will choose congas. I feel comfortable. I can move to a different rhythm and I don't have any problem. But about drums, yeah, it's difficult because with the pedals, I'm, I don't know how to say 
pedals. Right? Yeah, 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 pedals. Yeah, yeah pedals. Right? Yeah, it's just that percussion is is something different. Yeah. I mean, because percussion is is the bass. It's the bass, but when you mix, uh, it's, it's like the bass, the congas, the drums. I mean, those are bass. And the melody is, is another thing, but everything yeah. joins together in the end. That's right. Yes, teacher. Yeah, but I mean, but the problem cool. for me with the drums is that you really, really have to keep the, the, the time. You have to always keep the time because on a sense, I mean, the drums and the, and the bass are like keeping the time of the whole song, of the whole melody. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's quite interesting. Hey, mister, thank you. Welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Sure. Thanks. Let's see. Fernando, Fernando, are you home already? Yes, oh, teacher. Wow, <laughs> good that's evening. nice. I have good fun. evening. I was going to badmouth you that you are you almost leave uh, half of your day on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, with a little bit of an echo, but I can. Okay, now my, my connection has problems. Sorry, can you repeat the last part, please? No, that I was going to tell your classmates that you live half of your day on a bus. Oh, okay. Oh, but not, hey, uh, not a half a day. Yeah, no, no, but, yeah, but I mean, a couple of hours in the morning and a couple of hours in the afternoon, you spend like what, four hours, four and a half? Four hours? Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. I came early today. Uh, I came, I don't know, maybe at 4 p.m. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, today I, to be honest, I'm tired, so. At 1 p.m., I decide to finish, and I leave. I left. I left. I left. Yeah. I left. Yeah. And I left. Um, around 4 p.m., I came home. I drank a coffee with my wife in the afternoon because the weather is appropriate for that. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Coffee. That's so nice. Coffee and bread. Coffee and bread and a nice conversation. That's a good, a good recipe. And uh, I went for for my children to the college. So that's it. We are. <laughs> yeah, to the to the. In in that case, it's a school. College is uh, like oh. a university. Oh, okay, so it's school, right? It's school. Okay. I went. I went to to. Pick out or to take. Oh, you went to pick them up. Yeah, I'll pick them up, right? I picked them oh, up. That's nice. That is weird. That's... So they they were happy. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it's it doesn't happen regularly, right? Uh, right, right. <laughs> it's that were things that happen once in a blue moon. <laughs> yeah, but those are the details that you always treasure. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's nice. Uh, it's nice. I'm here for take a complete class That's once in a cool. blue moon. <laughs> no, but at least, I mean, every day you are on the bus, but at least you are listening. And that's good. I mean, you are like benefiting of the class. Yeah. You're benefiting of the class, and as soon as you are available, you start participating, and that's the idea. Yes, honestly, true. that's the idea to be able to participate as much as possible and to to take the opportunity you are given. Because I mean, it's not always we can do it, but when you can, I mean, make I the most out be, of it. I try to to do my, my best. So, yeah. you know, I have the, the, the intention, the time is the, the problem. Well, that's the first step always in anything. Yes, yes. So, I'm here, teacher. 
Ready. Cool. That's nice. That's nice. Nice having you here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Danny. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Fine. How are you, my friend? Fine. I'm fine, teacher. You're just relaxing. <laughs> It's the weekend. That's cool, yeah, it's Friday, it's Friday. Yeah, I guess a couple of classmates took advantage of the fact that it's a oh, Friday. Yeah, yeah. I'm missing some. <laughs> yeah, they have took advantage of that. Yeah. Um, but here with, with this um, rainy day, um, it's make more, a little, more difficult to to work and um, work from home today and <laughs> with that um, with mm, that that's rain, a good uh, but yeah um, but the problem is that when it gets like that you feel like taking a yeah. nap <laughs> yeah yeah and and mostly after the lunch <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah it was Today it rained a lot. In the morning I was like, in, yeah, I was in San Vicente, and man, it rained a lot. <laughs> and when yeah, I came yeah. to when I came to to after to the it, it wasn't raining at all. Mm -hmm. The weather mm -hmm. is kind of crazy in our country. Yeah, yeah, but uh, the plans for the weekend? Well, um. Tomorrow, I'm going to visit my mom on San Miguel. And um, I don't worry about the, the weather because <laughs> and right there is raining too. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, in San Miguel, I mean, with one hour of sun, it's enough for it to get hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know that. <laughs> I know, but um, well, um, I, I make some stuff um, on Saturday and Sunday, and just relax and, and come back. Okay, well, that's nice. Thank you very much, yeah. Danny. Nice yeah. having you Thank here. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Still got time, still got time because we are going to work in the manual, but it's gonna be like pretty focus. Maria Alejandra. Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just great. What about you? <laughs> oh, that's I the Maria Alejandra. No, always smiling. <laughs> no, I, I feel good, teacher. I feel that better because oh, finally yeah. it's Friday. It's in yes. home, but it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday, yeah, you are right. What about tomorrow? You work all day? Yes. It's sad, but <laughs> I have a long day, and I think that uh, very busy, but I don't have option. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're in closing, right? <clears throat> and no, uh, in my case, it's different uh, with Roxana. Uh, my closing is that when final the month, or uh huh. 30 or the month. Month, uh, the end of the month. And in this month and the last and, and previous month, uh, that good uh, news is uh, have a good month. Uh, the production is good and have a lot of cases all the days in the platform. And I try the I think that it is better compared than compared than other months because this year start very quiet or uh-huh. Okay. 
-hmm. Yeah, this year it's been hard for a lot of business, right? Uh huh. And the weather in the uh, Dominican Republic have a lot of baguada. Yeah, I know what it means. Uh -huh. And I think that affect a lot of that the insurance, or I don't know, but compared with the other years, is not the star for the other for, for others. Yeah, you have felt the impact. Uh huh. But. Okay. In this month is good and the Saturday is very busy. I have a lot of work and the problem is that I only have two persons past that 11 to El Salvador. Really? Uh huh. One of this... them is you. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, but mm, okay. The complicate is that the Saturday, uh, I don't have time to take my hour lunch. Lunch hour? A lunch hour. And I think that is more complicated for me because don't have a time or a specific time, a specific time to relax a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, I can understand you, but, but let's see, let's see. I mean, Sunday you will be like sleeping. Yes, uh, the Saturday have the opportunity to stay out or like this, and it's good. I relax in the night. At, at night. night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. At night. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, Maria Alejandra, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ramon, hello, Ramon. How are you? Um, hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, my friend? I'm fine. Uh, thank you for asking. I just a arrived. Day. Oh, a heavy day at work. Yeah, I, I went to Carasucia. You know what that place? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's far. Um, from Santa Ana? Yeah. Uh huh. And I I wake up on um, 3 a.m. and and I start to drive for for four and a half a.m. My gosh. A long way. Yeah, I, how many I, I, hours have you? How many hours have you driven today? Uh, four hours. Uh, two for um, a ride to, going to, to Dubai. Yeah. 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 Two, That's a lot. Uh, two. Este, and then. Uh, I need to. Uh, sorry, I have a meeting in 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 Carasucia with uh, some clients. Oh really? How was the weather over there? Um, all the all the way. Um, it's raining. It's raining, uh, uh, and then. I uh, see until say six a.m. Rain in every 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 morning. Yeah, all the morning. All the morning. Sorry. Well, the good thing is that now you're home, you can relax a little bit. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. You can um, relax and and enjoy the class. Exactly like that. <laughs> Mister, thank you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see. 
Well, 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 who else is around? Alejandro Alfredo, hello. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Yeah, fine. Happy that it's Friday and can have a rest, a little rest this weekend. But it was an exhausting week. It was a what? Uh, exhausting. Exhausting. Oh, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, like uh, around 6 p.m. today, I was falling asleep because I don't know, I've been. Uh, getting into bed like at midnight uh, every day this week. Yeah, it's it's hard. Sometimes it is hard, right? Yeah, but uh, we'll uh, I will have Saturday and Sunday to to rest a little bit. But well. Okay. For tomorrow, I program a tennis lesson at 6 a.m. So <laughs> I will I will get up early tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, it's to have fun to to exercise. So it will be cool. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, you have to take advantage of any opportunity you have, right? Yeah. So it will be a good exercise tomorrow morning, and then I I'll come home to sleep. That's uh, nice. So you have your plan ready. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That will. That's my plan for this for this week weekend. That's cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, if that's if that works for you, resting, that's nice. I mean, you have to make the mouse out of it so you yeah. can get ready for next week. Yeah, if someone could recommend me a, a series or a movie to watch this week, then that will be great. So you're, you're planning on being a coach potato this weekend. Exactly. That's cool. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. Let me see me. Hmm. Nah, I wish I could. No chance. Not this weekend. This weekend is going to be heavy for me. But next one's going to be like softer, I guess. I expect. Hey, mister, thank you, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, well, let's move on. Let me show you a little something that we are going to be working first. We come here with the manual, the Insafor manual in page number 35. Vocabulary. We have theories of employee motivation. We got scientific management theory, it assumes people are already motivated and willing to continually work harder and more effectively. Payment is done on the basis of quality and amount of work. McGregor's theory X and theory Y. Theory X is a pessimistic assumption that employees are solely motivated by a sustainable income. Theory Y is the assumption that employees are motivated and work for not direct reward. Auchi's theory Z, it focuses on motivated employees through stable employment and the well-being of the employee, both on and off the job. It promotes high productivity, morale, and satisfaction. These theories are helpful to understand management and motivation, but most managers will employ a combination of needs, extrinsic and intrinsic factors in an effort to motivate employees. Now, our activity, our first big activity is this. 
You have been assigned the management and leadership of a group of new recruits for a sales department. Look, sales department. This is key vocabulary because we're going to be focusing on this. Their previous manager labeled them as lazy and unmotivated. What are you going to have to do? Identify the possible needs of the team and create a list of motivational factors that could help them achieve better results. So this is what we are going to do. Identify the possible needs of the team and create a list of motivation factors that could help them achieve better results. This is the situation we are facing, okay? This is the situation, the rest is your activity. And then you are going to share with us what was, what is your list of motivational factors, okay? So let me get you into groups. You are going to have 10 minutes for this activity. It's a little bit long, so I want, I want at least of factors, okay? Please, I need a minimum, I need six, six sentences, okay? Where you're telling me how you're going to motivate that people. What strategies are going to, are you going to implement? Okay, guys, groups are created. Uh, let me see. Let's jump in, please. Ladies, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hi, Lee. Good evening. Irene. Hello. Hello, Irene. I need a few minutes at the end of the class, please. Okay. Thank you. So, you ready? Remember, I just sent you the, 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 the info. Okay. So you have been assigned the management and leadership of a group of new recruits for a sales department. Oh, this group is going to have it easy. Because <laughs> Irene works in human resources and Heidi is a manager. So Heidi is saying right now, this is piece of cake. Right, Heidi? Not at this point of the week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let me go. so sleep. Oh, really? Let me go check on another group. I'll let you work, guys. Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. You're working on the on this on the strategies. Uh, by myself, but uh, I, I haven't finished yet. Okay, remember to share it with your classmates here in the team, so you can like be prepared to present it to the rest of the class. Okay. 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 Okay, teach. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Really okay. nice. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's. Francisco, are you there? 
well, let's hope he will be there. Okay, uh, we being assigned the management and leadership of a group of new recruits for a sales department. Woo, sales. Yeah. <laughs> the previous mayor labeled them as lazy and unmotivated, identified the possible needs of the team and create a list of motivational factors that could help them achieve better results. Um, create to, to a sales team uh, is motivated with money. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so I know when you talk about bonus. <laughs> yeah, and so it's important to important to to create new bonuses. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's important, but also the targets. Yes, the bonuses might be designed to achieve targets. Uh huh. Uh, to yeah. achieve, uh huh. So I guess that the targets has to be uh, not lower, but I guess that mm. need to be necessary. It's like a media. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, like media. it's one media. Yeah, that's right. Well, for example, for us, it, it, I don't know if you remember that the last month, well, all this month, I guess it would be the same rhythm. It, I've been always expressing that uh, the sales are not the same, but we all been running and trying to achieve and trying to be in the 150% because when you reach that revenue, um, you get uh, $300 as a bonus. So that's good. But and I guess that, that's why the, for the next month, maybe the target will increase. No, well, that could be the uh, revenue, maybe, the goal, the goal. Uh -huh, the goal. The goals. Maybe the the well, the um, the person that handled the the mm -hmm. goals. The uh, client. Uh -huh. uh, well, the client. thanks, guys. You know, maybe in our account, they keep the same revenue goal uh, for all this year because they are they this is a big company and they invest a lot in marketing studies linguistic things and they know this was will be affecting and mm -hmm. we are keeping the same revenue goal people mm -hmm. uh, employees are hoping and as employees we would like that they uh, download the amount of money or decrease the, what they are asking for, but it's not possible. The only thing that they can promise us is to keep the same goal, not um, like uh, adding additional money, no, or additional revenue goal. Uh, mm -hmm. We promise to keep, and that's like, oh, well, and, and believe it or not, as a sellers, we always look in order. As sellers, as sellers. As, okay, as sellers, as sellers, we always look for ways, of course, ethical ways, uh, to achieve our goals. Because also, that is a very important thing uh, I like of my account. They are always a uh, one pays, uh, ¿cómo puedo decir un paso atrás siempre de cada venta? They are, always, they are always keeping an eye on every sales. And randomly they hear uh, as our conversation. And if they find oh, out, yeah. it happened a lot with the packies uh, that they mislead information just to sell. They mislead information to the, to the customers. If they find out the, all those uh, behaviors, believe me, they uh, fire people. Yeah, they, mm -hmm. And that is the only way they make people respect the policy. Mm -hmm. And I like that because yeah. uh -huh, we 
uh, here as Latin and Latin America team. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Hello, teacher. Hello, my dear. You finish. You got I my guess. sentences ready? I guess. Okay, why don't you share some with me? Okay. Well, in my case, the factors that could help the team to achieve better results, it's um, to get um, to get a correct training. Okay. And to let me see. And to motivate them with with economical, how do you say, incentives, teacher? Those are incentives. Mm. Incentives. Yeah, and uh, also, what motivates a, a, a sales team is uh, free time incentives too. What? Free time. Incentives. Oh, yeah. For example, if you achieve this goal this week, you won't come on Saturday, for example. Yeah, you, you get half, a half day off or something like that. Exactly. It works. Yeah, of course. I mean, they tell me, okay, you got one afternoon free. Man, that's funny. Economic incentive. But on a sales team, what it motivates the most is economic incentive. Yeah, well, bonuses. Ah, bonuses. A, a good, a good sell, seller is 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 led by the ambition for money, in good terms, in a good sense, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, good seller is always looking for. For more and uh, and if you give them uh, economical benefits, I mean they get happy and they push to get more all the time, and that's always good for the company. Exactly. Hey, look, Irene is back. Irene is back. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Irene. Hi. Let me go check on the rest of the groups if they have finished so we can go back to the main room. This is the third one I uh have. -huh. Uh, let them know if they do their best, they can achieve any goal that they set. Um, okay. Um, what else? Um, um, Give them, uh, give them any time. The flexibility in the schedules is very motivated for the employees. Is yeah, the sure. is the influence for the rent rendimiento teacher rendimiento performance performance is employee motivation very significant economic factor. Given the than a motivate working, no? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you think that give them um, um, flexible schedule? Okay. Uh, will increase their mm -hmm. confidence or their performance? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay.
Okay, let's see. Well, Heidi, tell me. Talk to me. What you got from your radar? What are uh, motivational factors that could help the team achieve better results? Uh, we were thinking on a correct training and find out the areas where uh, that needs more improvement maybe knowledge okay. of product policies, it depends, right? And then we were thinking on economic incentives and free time incentives. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ana Claudia, your turn. Well, you work on sales, so tell me, Ana Claudia. <laughs> yes, we were discussing this with uh, Jose Wilfredo. Uh, what motivates is to create new bonuses to achieve targets or goals. Uh, yes. Also, as the second one is share best practices between co-workers that motivates you a lot. And also as a number three, uh, it's important to for managers to be on top, sharing the latest information and performance of the team members, because that creates like a healthy, Com, I healthy com. The word is com, competition. Healthy competition. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's like a, uh, uh, like emotionally, it's like uh, uh, you have one back on you pushing you. <laughs> that is how it feels. And the number four is when you are prepared. So it's important to have trainings and preparation about uh, areas that are lacking or affecting or not making you to achieve your goals. That feels good, motivates you a lot. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Those are all. Interesting. Interesting. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's see. Oh, I got another group here. Fernando, what does your group your group got from? Hi, sorry. Uh, in my group, we were discussed about and first review the needs, the possible needs. Maybe we need to review the workload, the training, the equipment, office furniture. And after that, uh, we have a motivational list. For example, uh, we talk about sales department appropriate, appropriate for establish a commission plan and bonus and or work from home or day off for birthday, or insurance, pay, payment vacation, um, a plan for development and maybe one thing that is simple, but uh, maybe it's health, it's coffee in the office, for example. So, we got that. Okay, That's perfect. It. Excellent, thank you. Okay. Okay, guys, now let's see. Okay, now we go to the manual again, but page number 39. 
management and motivation. Did I get this on attendance, guys? All right. No teacher. No teacher. No. Oh no. my gosh. Let me get it right now. Ada Susana Casares Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagas Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Present teacher. Dani José García Martínez. Thank you, Alejandro. Thank you, Ana Claudia. Dani José García Martínez. Present. Thank you, Dani. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairé Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Hey, Francisco. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present, teacher. Thank you. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Thank you, Suleima. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. I was... Sharing with you right here. Okay. How to use transitions of concessions? This is quite easy. Look, the vocabulary is simply focused on a transition. We have seen transitions already. We use expressions like certainly, naturally, of course, it is true, to be sure, and granted, to express concession. Use a comma after these words if they are at the beginning of a sentence. To be sure, try to promote good relations at work. Use a comma before and after the transition if it is between two clauses. Feeling valued at the organization is, of course, a crucial factor for employee engagement to grow. So remember, these are like affirmative transitions or agreement. Okay, they, they usually say that you agree with the situation they express. So our exercise, read the following strategies to keep employees engaged at work, add the missing punctuation when necessary, check answers with a classmate. You're going to be working in groups, you're going to have four minutes for this activity, it's quite easy. Okay, then we're going to come back here, you're going to read them for me and you're going to tell me where the comma goes. So let's see, let's go to the rooms. Hello, ladies. Uh, just to let Hi. you know, Roxana is just going to be listening, okay? Okay. Okay, continue. They have to remember too many passwords to actually have. Okay, comma before and after, granted. 
right? Mm, yeah. Okay. Grant, yeah. Uh -huh. Before and after granting, right? Yeah, you could get mistaken. Grant, they have. Been... Okay. Uh, number three. And the first, naturally. Naturally, comma. Okay. Naturally, it's. Company. Okay, continue. Of course. Of course, yeah. Comma before and after. Before and after. Teacher, are you going to send the picture to the WhatsApp group because I'm having problems? I'll think about it. Please do it. <laughs> we haven't worked yet in that. Shame on you, Anna Claudia. Yeah, excuses, excuses as always. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Give me just a second. Okay, please. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now we have it. So we can go. Uh, employees could be frustrated, granted, they have to remember too many passwords to access. Oh my God. Mm. Hey, what do you think in the number two, Jose? I think the comma goes after uh, frustrated. Why? The comma. After. Oh, yes, after frustrated. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yep. And then after granted, too. After granted, uh huh. So granted, not be 
be between comes, right? Yeah. Okay. Grante. Three the... is after it. Hmm? Naturally. Naturally. Okay. Naturally. Number three. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then. It's important to know as much as possible about the person tendencies and needs of each employee to generate. Oh, engagement. between, of course, goes between commas in the number huh? four. four. Yep, that's right. Okay. For all course. Yes, and... certainly. And. And certainly? Uh huh. And comma, certainly, I guess. Mm, after N, I understand. Certainly. No. Uh, get feedback from your employees, comma. No. And certainly, comma. The, the comma is in employees right now. <laughs> huh? Look at the, the image. Get feedback yeah. from your employees. <laughs> Just has to be added after the certainly. After certainly. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Okay. And certainly, it is true. And, Morning, okay. next. After it is true, it is true. Mm -hmm. Comma. Yeah. Yeah. Morning, that's right. Okay. It is true. Okay. Good. Don't teach. It is true, comma, promoting closer connections among colleagues helps mm -hmm. them care more about their workplace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. I guess it's time to go back. Okay. Okay, okay, cool. This is the way we are going to do it. Uh, share with you. I'm going to pick one of you. You are going to read the sentence like this. To be sure, comma, employees must be able to move, to move fast through their workplace. Let's see. Who's it gonna be first? Um, Danny, you got number two. Yeah. Um, the comma, uh, I have to read it or? Yep. Well, employees could get frustrated, comma, grant, comma, they have to remember too many best words to access an area. Perfect, mister, thank you very much. Mr. Ming, please, number three. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, let's see. Let's check. Okay, uh, naturally, comma, is important to know as much as possible about the personal tendencies and sorry 
and needs and needs each employee to generate engagement. Perfect. Irene, you got number four. Okay. There are many ways for the company to let its employees know that they are important, comma, of course, comma. One of these ways is to offer constant trainings and learning. Okay, perfect. Number five, Ana Claudia. Okay, um, number five is uh, get feedback from your employees, comma, and certainly, comma, act on this knowledge to solve engagement deficiencies, I see it? Deficiencies, yes, Defic right. Okay. In this case, as we have the comma right here before the end, mm -hmm. we don't need to uh, place the comma right next to certain. Okay, so you did no. right. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Ramon. You around? Hello. Hello, would you mind reading number six? Let me see. It is true, comma, promoting closer connection among colleagues. Colleagues. And Colleague, sorry. Colleagues. Uh, comma. Helps them care more about their workplace. Just perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Now that exercise. Well done, guys. Now we go to the conversation section. Okay. We're going to be speaking. And I got a bunch of questions. Today, we're going to talk about uh, time. Time is going to be the topic we are going to be working with. But there's a bunch of questions, okay? The first one, what is your busiest day of the week? Do you like to be busy or do you like to have an, an easy schedule? What takes up most of your time? Do you think you manage your time wisely? Do you manage time or does time manage you? What do you do if you show up too early for something? What do you do if you show up too late for something? Now, the way in which we are going to do it is we're going to be working in groups. I'm going to assign one person of the group to ask the questions, okay? And that person is going to ask one or, I mean, two questions to a different person. I mean, it's not the all the questions to the same person. No, perhaps imagine that in my group, I have Suleyma, I have Ana Claudia, I have Fernando. I will ask the first two questions to Suleyma, the next two questions to Ana Claudia, and the last ones to Fernando, okay? So in group number one, let me check on something. Okay, in group number one, the one in charge, in charge of asking the questions is going to be uh, Jose Wilfredo. So Wilfredo, in your group, you're going to be asking. In group number two, the one in charge of asking the questions is gonna be Heidi. Group number three, uh, Maria Alejandra. And in group number four, it's going to be Marcos. Okay, groups are created. Let's do it. Six minutes for this activity.
Let's go check. Yeah. Yep. And do you like to be busy or do you like to have an easy schedule? I prefer an easy schedule. <laughs> yeah, all the time. But but something is good. So if you are busy because the time goes by, it, so and uh -huh. it's really nice. Uh -huh. But sometimes not, right? Yeah, you feel like well. So it's like a long day and you have to like work and work and work. But but I prefer that easy is casual. It's better. And you knew it's casual is easy or compared to... Um... Mm, yeah, I think that is better. In order to sleep, yeah, I think that is better because... Um, I have like around nine, 10 hours that I can sleep. I think that is cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, because after work, so I, I stay just around 20 minutes, my cell phone, and then so I fall asleep. And then so I wake up around 9 a.m. I think that's why I prefer this casual. Uh, okay. It's fair. And Ramon, you stay here. Hello. Hi. And what days, what take us most of your time? What day? What what takes up most of your time? ¿Qué ocupa la mayor parte de tu tiempo? Okay. Um, uh, actually. Uh, I spend my time on my job. <laughs> work, work, work. <laughs> um, I wake up at uh, 5 a.m. and then I write. That would be it. Okay. So you, you um, do some activities? That is not, and uh, there are no development in the computer. For example, you, you mm. do some calls. No, I must be always in front of the computer because uh, in my job, I have incoming calls uh, coming for a general queue, but also customers looking for or calling me direct, or I must call to, the, to, to other customers. It's like consuming. I don't have time to uh, get up uh, frequently mm, because if you are making a or completing a task with a customer, there are too many steps to complete filling this report, filling that. It's like that. I pass mm -hmm. all in front of the computer, like. 10 hours a day. 10 hours. Oh, Fernando doesn't know about that. I <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, Fernando, you don't know nothing about staying in front of a computer. <laughs> yes, teacher. And the add the two additional the hours for this class. So it's there like 12 hours a day. <laughs> 12, yeah. Yeah, but this is fun, Ana Claudia. Look, you've been locked in all the class, so really. <laughs> okay, let's say yes. <laughs> oh, come on, that was so bad. No, no, I mean, because I, kidding, I was I'm answering kidding, to... Don't worry. <laughs> uh, yes, I was answering that the, the most I'm just, I do is... I'm just pulling your leg, my lady. 
<laughs> you know that expression? No, uh, but I imagine. I am just pulling your leg. It's quite formal, but it's like, uh, I'm just joking with you. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. I, I imagine that that was the, the meaning of that. Okay. I knew one new thing. Yeah. Mm. All people use it. Mm. Okay. Good to know. Okay, I already answered. Okay. Um. Doctor, are you available? I guess she's not. I'll, I'll make this question for myself. What do you, you can do ask if, me if you want. Uh, okay, teacher. What do you do if you show up early for something? Start reading. Simple. Reading what, teacher? Reading the book. I always have, uh, got one or two books ready on my cell phone to, to read whenever I got free time. So if for I... Reading? Yeah, whenever I... I'm merely for something or I'm waiting for somebody. I start reading. What which that book way, are you are you carrying right now? Well, right now uh, I'm I got two. Let's see. First one, one is a novel from Tom Clancy. Uh, the other one, I'll tell you the name, is a British one, and it's uh I'll tell you the title. It's a series. I am rereading this series, to be honest. And the title of it is Charpies. Second, uh, Charpies uh, Triumph, El Triumph for the Charpie. It's a series about, uh, well, it's historical. It's an historical book. The author is Bernard Cornwell. He's a novelist and historian. Uh, it relates mostly the, it portrays a character, an English character, a soldier, uh, first on the wars in the India, and then the whole campaign against Napoleon. So okay. interesting. I guess, yeah, yeah, it got a lot of, of uh, historical details that I enjoy. And to be honest with you, that that area, that age, uh, the French Revolution is quite interesting for me. I got hooked on it when I was a teenager. So whenever I grab a book, uh, like a novel or something that is uh, based on that age, I mean, I'm into it. Okay, teacher, I'll make you the other question just because I'm curious. <laughs> what do you do if you show up too late for something? I get mad at myself. <laughs> but what do you do? Ooh. Apologize first. Mm -hmm. The very first thing that I do is apologize. And I mean, it's not common that I get late for for something, it's quite weird, to be honest. I always try to, I always try to set my schedule in a way that I have always time to spare. Like uh, tomorrow, I, I gotta teach a class at 1.30 in at the neighborhood La Gloria. It, from my house, it takes me like 40 minutes. I always go with 20 minutes to spare I mean, 40 minutes with uh, with traffic. Mm -hmm. But I always take it like with 20 minutes to spare, so I'm not in a rush. I don't like to be driving too fast. Because it's not good, it's not safe. So it's not normal that I get late, but if I do, the very first thing is apologize. Because, you know, it's a bad habit. But I don't like either. Yeah, tell me, tell me. The, the, the excuse I hate the most when people get slayed is traffic. Yeah. When they tell mm -hmm. me, hey, 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 boss, I'm, I'm late because of traffic, I go like, oh, really? <laughs> you know, 
there's always it's, traffic problems. It, it's not an ex excuse anymore because yeah, there there's always traffic. Teacher, another yeah. question maybe that exactly, uh, exactly that is not in the list, but uh, as you are a reader, uh, do you have you ever tried Kindles? I I read in Apple. Apple, okay. I read in Apple because PDF is uh, horrible. Yeah. Apple uh, works like a like a Kindle on your cell phone. Mm, it, okay. device, it, it doesn't matter in an Apple, uh, if you choose this pretty tiny letter, it fits the whole book on that on the letter and it fits the whole book in order that it appears evenly on your screen. If you want big letter, it's going to be more pages from the book. Okay. So it, yeah, it's, it's pretty it's, nice. Yeah, ah, okay. Yeah, it's like the, like, uh, it's like, Kindle. Like, it's like the Kindle function that if you yeah. got zoom into the, into the fonts, uh, there are more pages. Yeah. yeah. More exactly the same. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I enjoy reading. It's it's my vice. Yeah, because some, sometimes uh, you go to the bank or something like that, and you go thinking that you will you will go by the line like pretty fast, but oh you... no! To be honest <laughs> with you, I I don't. I don't do it no more. I go to the bank thinking it's going to be the whole morning, the whole afternoon. Yeah, I prefer so. for the words, so if it's less, I feel happy. Unless we go to Heidi's branch. In that case, we know that it's fast, right, Heidi? I was about to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but I'm, I'm sure some days are heavy for, for your branch. There are certain days of the month that must be heavy for everybody. Right, Heidi? Right. Yeah, because on certain dates, it's like every, you know, procrastination is a bad habit of Salvadorian as well, of everybody. Everybody leaves the stuff for the last day of the month. Yeah, you can't imagine how it goes when, when we are about to have a long vacation. <laughs> oh, terrible. Terrible, quite terrible. Those days, not even me. I don't want to go to the bank. <laughs> you are the one who's like, oh, please let, let oh, there be please. traffic. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, it's terrible. It's terrible. And, and it's a lot of work and people, I mean, some people don't understand that the, the job in the bank is not the, that the working hours for the employees are not the, the open hours. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do before and a lot of stuff to do after. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, yeah it's, it's heavy. I mean, two hours, three hours after you close and you're still sitting there sometimes, right? That's right. Well, let's go back to the main room because we still got another set of questions.
Okay, guys, let's see. Everybody's back. Okay, we are not going to discuss these questions because I'll like get you the next set of questions. Quite easy. Do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something? How much time do you spend sleeping? Do you wish you could sleep more? Does waiting for something bother you? Do you get bored easily? For this, you're just going to have five minutes because then I'm going to ask some of you those questions when we come back. And it doesn't matter if we reach the, the time, I need to ask some of you. So I'm gonna, we're gonna stay here as long as necessary so I can listen to some of you participate, okay guys? So let's do it fast, four minutes for these questions, let's go. I win. Hello, teacher. The system did I send you into the group? Yes, I don't know why. Let me send you to another group, okay? Okay.
Okay, let's bring everybody back. Let's see, let's see. Everybody's coming in five, four, three, and now. Okay, Marcos. Hello, Marcos. You mean to buy it tonight? Hello, teacher. Hello. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What takes up most of your time on a daily basis? Um, what take most of uh, of my time in today? Yeah. Mm, okay. What? Um. At the beginning of the day, I think take a shower and have the breakfast. Breakfast uh, take much time to me because I spend so much time during the, the uh, bath <laughs> so that takes a lot of time to me and at, at night when i decide to to play video games it takes me it takes me like two hours playing <laughs> so it's a it's a bite okay. i have to otherwise okay now let's see thank you Juan Carlos. Okay. Hello, teacher. Tell me. Tell me, Juan Carlos, do you spend a lot of time when preparing for something like going out for a party, something like that? Uh, <laughs> yes. So some friends of mine uh, sometimes uh, used to say like, uh, you, you look like, uh, oh, no. You act like a girl because you uh, spend a lot of time on the, how can I say this? On getting ready. Yeah. To getting ready, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that happens, that happens. That happens. Right, don't worry. <laughs> okay, let's see. Heidi, what do you do if you show up late for something? I really try not to get late. I really don't like it. I think it is irresponsible, but when it has happened, I apologize. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, giving an excuse is just that an excuse, right? Mm -hmm. I feel shame. Yeah, I know what you mean. Thank you. Now let's see. Alejandro Fredo. Hello, teacher. Okay, tell me, how much time do you spend sleeping? Around six hours uh, daily. Six hours? And uh, do you wish you could sleep more? Uh, yes, yes, I, I like sleeping. How many more hours would you like to sleep per night? Mm, one or two hours. That would be enough. Yeah, that's enough. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Irene. Okay. Does waiting for something bother you? Excuse me, Dishan. Does waiting for something bother you? Gets you mad? Um, 
Um, um, for example, sometimes that I bother me when I waiting. Yeah. Okay. That when I go to eat something, I go, oh. go out to eat. <laughs> You don't like waiting for the food to arrive. You want it fast. Yes. And that gets you mad. Okay. Oh. Ah, what a shame. I want to invite you for lunch. We get mad. Thank you, Irene. Hey guys, thank you very much. Let me get the final attendance so you can go and enjoy your weekend. Just to remind you, please, very please. I have a couple of you here who need to finish the platform. I will recommend you to do it this weekend, please. And if you got any question, contact me. I can help you out with that. But please finish it because on Monday, I need to have everything set and ready. So let's do it. And remember, any question, you can contact me anytime, no problem. So let's see, guys, attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Smin Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibed Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Hope you have a good night and enjoy your weekend. Good night to everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Hello, Miss. Hello, Chef. Second. Okay, let's see. Irene, hello, Irene. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. What time did you connect tonight? Let me see, let me check. Irene, 8.15, a las 8.14 se me conectó, ¿verdad? El sistema eso, eso me dice. Ok. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. It's just that I'm checking your... Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see.
Sí. Estamos. Estamos. Cabalitos. Cabalitos, cabalitos. Con la próxima clase, we make it. Ok. Next, clase, next, next Monday. Monday. Sí. Okay. Con esa clase salimos cabalitos con el tiempo. Llegamos a la meta que el porcentaje que Isafor le pide a usted como, para darle como aprobado el curso. Okay. Isafor nos pide tres parámetros. The first one is the attendance, the platform y en la encuesta de satisfacción. La encuesta de satisfacción la hacemos el lunes. La platform, déjenme ver cómo vamos. Um, mm. This weekend I'm going to do it. Ok. Oh, Vaya, oh, día, día de mañana yo paso ocupadito hasta como eso de las seis. Pero después de las seis de la tarde, si usted tiene una duda, escríbame. Ok. okay. Yo vengo, me okay. conecto a la máquina y le puedo estar ayudando directamente para resolverlo. Los ejercicios, ok. De esa manera, pues, yo le apoyo. Y con el tiempo, mire que le diría, mira, poder decir que, que sí salimos. En la próxima clase salimos. Ok. Y qué bueno, porque es una pena que yo sé que se presentan siempre circunstancias y el trabajo es absorbente, ¿verdad? Hey, I love your company. I like your shirt. <laughs> ok, yes, fruit of the room. Yeah, uh, Yeah, I actually favor that brand with a couple of, with some clothing. Okay, yes. Yeah, I favor that brand with, uh, with t-shirts, like, mm -hmm. I like them, they're very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And okay. underwear for my son, always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. How long have you worked for the company? Um, nine years and a half in six months. Oh my gosh, that's a yeah. lot. Yeah. That's nice, that's nice. It's, it's nice because I mean, it's good to, to, to make all bonds on a company, right? Yes, it can, it's an excellent American company and they, They have a lot of benefits for, for the employees. And how can I say in English, estabilidad laboral? Uh, job stability. Job stability. They have That's a cool. job, they, they have job stability. Some employees that are, uh, that are working. Have been working. Have been working in the company. Almost 25 years and 20 years. Oh my years. gosh, that's a <laughs> lot. In, if, for example, my co-workers, I have two co-workers that the same level than me. Is one of them has 15 years, 16 years okay. working. And the other, and my, the other co-workers, co she has 15 years. That's a lot. Yes. That's a lot. Well, good for you. Good for you. Thank you. My dear, so, eh, el lunes me espero lo más tempranito que pueda. Oye. Okay. Así, okay. no tenemos ningún contratiempo. Thank you. I know it's a big effort you're doing. Yo sé que es un gran esfuerzo. ¿Mandó la documentación para el próximo? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. eh, eh, yeah. Sí nos la manda el, el, la persona encargada de educación. Ah, ok, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Excelente, entonces. Bueno, espero vernos pronto. Cuídese. Cualquier thank duda, you, por favor, you. me comunica. Ok, thank you so much. No, thanks to you. Have a good night. Same for you. Bye.